Hello, this video is intended for students and parents learning how to log on to Google Classroom for the first time. In this video, I'm going to show you first how to get and sign in using your Oldham County account. Now, Google Classroom works either in a browser, in the Chrome browser, on a desktop, laptop, or a Chromebook, or you can log in by downloading the app on a cell phone or tablet. In order to get started, on a desktop, laptop, or in a Chromebook, you'll go to the Chrome web browser. So as you can see, I'm here on the internet in Chrome. While I'm here, you're going to go to www.google.com. When you go to Google, it's going to prompt you in the top right corner to sign in. When you sign in, it's important that you or your student are using your Oldham County credentials. That usually looks like their first name, dot their last name, at stu.oldham.kyschools.us, and they should have their own unique password. If for any reason you're not sure what your student's username or password is, please contact your school and specifically the student technology coordinator or library and media specialist to get that information so that you can continue this process. Once you have your student's email and password, you're able to sign in with Google. So for me, I'm gonna go ahead and put in my first name and last name. Like I said, I'm a teacher, so I only have that at oldham.kyschools.us email, but your student will have at stewfirst.oldham.kyschools.us. And I'm going to say next. It's then going to prompt me for my password. And so also the second screen might come up because we have single sign-on accounts, so our Microsoft and Googles are connected. And so it will probably prompt your child or you to type in that email twice the first time before it asks for your password. And then you can decide if it's a shared device. You may not want it to remember your information, um, but if it's just your personal own device, you may want it to. I'm gonna say no for now. And it's gonna go ahead and log you in. You'll know that you're logged in now using that Oldham County account because I see my icon up here when I hover over it. It has my email, lauren.roth.oldham.kyschools.us, and it would have your child's there as well. So I now know I'm logged in. So now that I'm logged into Google, I can go ahead and access, this is called my Burnt Waffle, to see all of my Google apps for education. And Classroom is one of the apps. And so when I click on that Burnt Waffle and I click on Classroom, it will take me to my dashboard. Now, I have a lot of classes because I am a faculty member here and I have classes where I'm a teacher in them or student, but your child's probably will not have as many or maybe none at all if they've never been on Google Classroom. To join your teacher's class, because that's why you're here watching this video, you'll have to go to this plus button up here and it will allow you to join a class. Your child is a student, so the only option they will have is to join. When you click join, it's going to ask you for that specific class code that your teacher shared with you. So I'm going to type it in exactly how I see it and say join. And like I said, it's important that I'm logged in with my Oldham County account. If you are not, your student is not using their Oldham County account, it will not let them in and say join. And it will let me in to that Google Classroom. Once I'm here, I can get started. So now um, my teacher would probably have here in the stream, that's kind of those, like it says class updates and connect. If he or she posted information for me, I would see it here. Classwork, that is where I'll see all of my assignments that my teacher has given me. And people, I can see other teachers that are a part of this classroom as well as other students. Good luck with Google Classroom. Um, I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. And please also reach out to your school librarian or media or, or STC if you have questions about that username and password. Thanks for watching.